What's up, guys? This is Shadow calling from Team Sentinel. I uh, haven't done Sentinel Cam in a little while, so I figured I might as well go ahead and give you, give you guys another one. Um, a few things have been going on. Well, set eight is out. Uh, make sure to comment below what you guys think about set eight. I hear the Ouroboros Dragon is tearing up Neo Nectar right now. It's pretty good. Uh, I've got mine on the way. Um, I myself switched my Dimension Police deck over from Enigma Storm to Dimension of Robo. Great ultimate. Dayusha! I don't know. But, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with the deck. The deck really, it's interesting. Um, definitely fun. If you guys watch my match with it, you will see me goofing off. Uh, when I cross ride, great Dayusha. I do play Go Go Power Ranges. Yeah, I had to. Just too funny not to. Oh, uh, I can see in those videos where people dubbed in the Power Ranger music. I had to. Don't blame me, guy. Oh, um, yeah. Let me know your impressions on set. Um, my personal impression is I like the set. Oh, um, as much as everybody's on the whole Aqua Force bandwagon, I mean bandwagon right now, I decided to swerve a different way. I didn't want to be that guy, so I just went ahead and say, screw it, I'm going to play Dimension Police. Uh, so I started collecting I mean, Within a day's time, I just had just about everything for Dimension of Robo. Um, I'm still missing a few things. I'm missing one great Dayuoka, I mean, uh, Dayusha. Uh, so if you guys have one, let me know. I will post our updated trade binder this weekend, that way, and let you know what our wants actually are. Um... I don't know about playing Operator Girl Mika in it. Yeah, she's a great draw card and all, but um, I just don't like Counter Blasting because the fact I still play Cosmo Beats in mine. Uh, Cosmo Beat, I mean, Cosmo Beat to me is just, it's an overpowered ability. Um, Counter Blast 2, give anybody you want plus 4,000. So you can make your Vanguard column bigger, you can make whatever's behind Cosmo Beat bigger, uh, you can even make a Rear Guard Dayusha bigger. So, yeah. Um, everybody has their own play style. Cosmic Beast just always worked for me, and that's the way I'm going to keep it. Uh, as for Zeal, I haven't got everything in for Zeal yet, but I've heard the deck is pretty nasty. Um, it came in second last weekend at one of our locals. Not my locals, but one of the ones in our area. And um, the guy that played it said he's actually enjoying it. It's definitely kind of nasty. I mean, it's definitely nasty. Um, naturally, first place for him was Aqua Force. First place for us was fucking Aqua Force. Um, you gotta love it when a kid trades six hundred dollars for three hundred dollar deck. Can't help it there. But uh, we're definitely gonna try our hands at some of the set. I mean, uh, the set eight day. I mean, uh, decks. Um, maybe not so far. I mean, so much Aqua Force. We're going to try Musketeer, see how it does. We're going to try Sephiroth. We're definitely going to try both first of the Deep Police. Uh, when set nine hits, I am, we, uh, we'll probably change my wife's little Paladin deck over to uh, Esau Cross Rider. We're also going to be trying to do um, Chrome, me, uh, yeah, Chrome Jailer. Um, and on top of that, we're going to be trying the Beast Deity builds and the new Riser builds. So look forward to those matches, uh, those day profiles. And let you know how we're doing things. We're going to try to start setting up live feet. I mean, uh, live feeds. I'm not 100% sure how to do it, so I'm going to talk to a few of the other guys and get find out how that way. We can actually talk to you guys one-on-one and y'all can get to know us. Team Signal. Um, instead of just seeing me everywhere. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about setting up. Uh, and like James said, man, like Jimmy Boy, like Jimmy John's, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Boy. This is actually really dangerous. Oh, um, I do it because I want to be different. Uh, everybody's got their own niche. I want this to be one me, me, my Sentinel Cam. Brand new live page through the call. I don't know. I'm bored. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. It's been a long night at work. Um, what else can I talk about? Oh. We are like nine people away from having 200 people. So come on, guys. Subscribe. Like, rate, subscribe below. And make sure to check out our YouTube, Facebook, 
Facebook page at facebook.com slash Team Sentinel. Uh, you can catch more of our updates there. Uh, our post, how we did it locals. Follow us. I mean, more followers, the happy we are. Uh, we definitely want to be one of those people that you say, hey, they're my source for Vanguard. Uh, we're going to start bringing you guys, I mean, live updates, talking about things that are going on in the realm. Um, more things. Um, probably the next one we're going to do, I mean, uh, the next video we're going to do, we're going to talk about the uh, introduction of break rods in July and how that is going to change the game for us. Um, nobody really knows what's coming out after July. It's getting about that time where Bushy stood and me should start releasing what comes next. I'm curious. I'm curious. And the phone fell. Phone fell. All right, I'm back. But yeah, I'm curious to see when set 10 is going to come out because that's definitely going to change the game. Uh, the break rods, the new liberators, eradicators, jewel knights, spite brothers. I mean, the set is just freaking stupid. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see how the I mean how the meta is going to change. Uh, once the break rod roll pounding comes out, you guys still going to play MLB with the break rod, just making fucking stupid. I'm kind of thinking about it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hit with a 32. Thousand MLB that's not boosted. Three critical. You better guard that shit and guard it well. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, I guess this is going to be kind of it for, it for me. I'm about home anyways. So make sure to like, rate, and subscribe to our Facebook, our YouTube, and comment what you guys think about Set 9. Um... I'm interested to hear you guys' remarks. Um, Tiger Mix, if you are watching this, I did see your comment about you want to know where I got my Persona map from. It was custom made by Netherworld Designs. Uh, they are really, really, really good at doing their play mats. They also have more Persona mats. They have, um, I want to say about three characters. I think they have Chie, Yosuke, uh, I know they have Risei. What the reason? Uh, yeah, I had to go with my boy Narakami. I mean, come on. His name's Narakami. I play Vanguard. I had to go with Narakami. Uh, well, let me phrase that. In the video game, he's the protagonist. In the anime, his name is Narakami. Um, which is kind of cool. But, yeah. So, there's your answer, Tiger Mix. Uh, Chris Lee. You ask a lot of questions. I don't remember them all. Yeah, I don't remember them all. So, uh, I'll try to get back to you on those. Shout out to Travis from Team Limit Break. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, Night Flux, your videos are cool, even though you still haven't subscribed to me. Uh, asshole. No, you're cool. Uh, I'll bet's on James. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty funny. You should trade me those arch birds. You should trade me those arch birds. Oh yeah, I'm looking for four, 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 four arch birds and one raptor kernel. Um. All right, guys. Well, this is gonna be Shadow. I'm about to pull off of my house. So remember, play hard or go home. And uh, as always, we'll be talking to y'all later. This is Sentinel Camp. I'm out.